Clive. Uh, we're here with a relaxed, slightly playful Harry Angel in his box. Uh, you must have been delighted with this performance at Ascot last time out. A sec great second in the uh, Commonwealth Cup against Caravaggio. He goes to Newmarket next week for the July Cup. The only problem is that he's going to come up against Caravaggio again. I know, yes. Um, but I don't think he's too worried about that. I'm hoping he's come out of the race really well. Um, different track on a different day. And as long as he's feeling like he appears to be over the last few days, you know, as I say, he's come out of the race so well, I'd be happy that he's in good order. And, um, you know, we've got to turn the form around. But I'm certainly uh, looking forward to that opportunity. I mean, it was only three quarters. He's a... He's got plenty of energy. It was only three quarters of a length. Are people getting a bit carried away about uh, Caravaggio? Is, is, is he unbeatable? I think... Um, sorry. I think we'll leave him here a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think Caravaggio is a 100% good horse. And he's unbeaten. Um, which we're all respectful and, and um, mighty uh, impressed with, really. Mm. But I know, you know... I think we've got a good horse here, and I hope he can uh, prove that, uh, you know, on a different day, I'm still hopeful that, um, you know, we've got a chance. Mm. Well, if he's as good in a horse race as he is in a wrestling match, then I think you've got a big chance. He's very well, and uh, as you can see, he's, I think from a confidence point of view, we're going the right way, and, uh, you know, his, his, his season so far has been pretty good, apart from that defeat there, and... Uh, um, like I say, you can see, he's very happy and well. We wish you luck. We're looking forward to a great race next week. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Liz.